Welcome everyone to a SEMU installation update video. Today I'm going to show you how to install SEMU and how I managed to play Zelda Breath of the Wild on my PC. So you want to start with downloading your SEMU emulator. You can get it from this website. Links in the description for all these links and websites I'll be on about. Links in the description for the websites I'm on about. So if you click download there it will give you the SEMU emulator and uh, if you download Semu Hook from here, Semu Hook allows you to, Semu Hook allows you to have the fence skip, which helps. And you want to get your graphics pack, Breath of the Wild. It should be here. And try out the BS um, graphics pack. It helps out a lot. Okay, with all that said and done, go to your downloads, and you should have these folders. And so, if we extract the Semu Hook. All we're going to need from here is these two files. With your graphics packs, extract that. Your graphics packs and only select the Breath of the Wild ones if you're playing Breath of the Wild. You've got many other options here, but for now we're going to use these. If you go into graphics packs and drag and drop these into your graphics packs, so there's your graphics packs done. So we got semi hook done, graphics packs done. And we got this. This is your shader cache. Shader cache is very important as that will allow your game run faster. With that done, we still need Basically, you just want to have that, the folder from here, and copy and paste it from your WinRAR or wherever you have. We you USB helper link will also be in description. How to get it? Now I've already got Wii U USB helper. I won't be installing the game today, but I will show you how to. Okay, it may not come up for me, but it will for you, uh, as I've already installed it. So you can verify the download, add an update to your download, and when you do, go for V1144, as uh, the new update is kind of buggy at this moment. Okay, so my Breath of the Wild is in this folder already. Usually you want to load up from here. So when we launch our SEMU, you want to download the shared fonts as this is quite critical to have go to graphics packs for me I don't really choose much but always go for the FPS plus plus as that will help for me that will do but for you guys it depends what you want and it all depends on if your computer is powerful enough or your RAM speed is fast so actually, before you can do anything with graphics packs, you want to close it so the graphics pack will work. Make sure you always keep it, your GPU buffer cache on low. And uh, there is one other thing actually. So in order for your... If you've got a pre-existing game, you want to copy and paste your save files. So therefore, you can play your game properly. <clears throat> so here you have the game. You're probably thinking, okay, I've got a controller, how can I use it? So if you go to input settings, go to here. I'm using my Xbox One controller. I think it's got less input lag so than compared to a PS4 controller. But that could just be my PC, maybe different for yours. So if you input everything here and make sure to save. So actually, I'm going to put in one. So now it will always be there. And there we are. We've got all my save files there already. But before we're able to do anything at all, we want to install the shader cache. Now this is the actual file shader cache for my current Zelda game. 
copy and paste the shader cache name registered and put it on here. So now, when you load up Breath of the Wild, it should now install the shader cache. It does take quite a long time, but trust me, it's worth the wait and your game will work much faster. Okay, so with all that said and done, I'm loaded up my Senu emulator as it will load up much faster. I'm going to double check if my controller has been put in, which it has. So once this has loaded, you can see the game running. And this is literally it. It's very easy to do. And again, I will provide links in description. And if you're worried about motion controls, there are tutorials out there on how to set them up. But what I do, you can use the mouse. Um, and if you're playing games at a touch screen, you can use a mouse for that as well. And uh, to actually manipulate stuff in Breath of the Wild when you're in shrines, you can right click with your mouse and it should uh, take control of that object. This isn't something this is something that many uh, people doing in tutorials don't actually tell you so honestly if you're stuck on something like that use the mouse. Okay so there will always be lag when you load up your game. My game's doing kind of alright right now and yeah so I was at Death Mountain previously if you've been following my series of Breath of the Wild, which is doing pretty well right now. Oh. <laughs> uh, I may have walked away by accident. But yeah, that's that's how to install Breath of the Wild and your Semu em emulator. If this tutorial helped you, and uh, if there was any other way I can simplify this down, let me know and I'll make this a much easier tutorial for the future. There's always releases of Semu and you can get on the Patreon and subscribe to get more updates earlier. And uh, every time these updates do increase FPS and performance so it's always worth updating. And updating your game is really simple as long as you transfer your save files and your cache you should be fine. Anyways thank you for watching. And I shall see you in the next video.